Well, the anticipation building here at the Ruko Arena in Coventry ahead of the Davis Cup, uh, Euro-Africa Zone Group 1 second round match between uh, Great Britain and Russia, a World Group playoff time mid-September, the prize for the victors this weekend in the Midlands, uh, alongside uh, Jeremy Bates, former British Davis Cup player and captain myself, Guy McCree. Jeremy, uh, a lot of anticipation here, first time uh, that Davis Cup has come here to Coventry after all those matches, great matches in Glasgow. Um, how do you see the weekend? It really is a great opportunity for Britain against uh, a side that's won as recently as 2006, won the competition. Well, I mean, first of all, yeah, I mean, it's a great stadium without a question of doubt, and uh, you know, almost full. I think 3,000 people coming out to watch the next three days, and, and no doubt the atmosphere will be terrific. It's a difficult tie. I mean, uh, Great Britain promoted into Euro African Zone One, um, playing the top seeds here in Russia, and as you say, they've got. Uh, a, a, great history as, as previous winners um, and they've also got you know, lots of different players to choose from and, and the two that have come out to play this weekend uh, it's in uh, Dmitry Tursunov and, and Evgeny Donskoy very uh, very accomplished very well, certainly in Tursunov's case experienced guy a uh, pro who's been on the tour for 10 years previously it's a rank 20 in the world and, and it's a it's a tough prospect it really is a, a make no bones about it it's a difficult start yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the opening two singles rubbers, let's look at the first one, the big talking point, the fact that Dan Evans has been brought in at short notice for Jamie Baker, uh, plays Dmitry Tursunov, a top 75 player, someone who's been around such a long time. How do you break that down? Do you think Evans has got a shot here this afternoon? Well, I, look, I mean, I think it's um, an interesting uh, selection to begin with, I mean, because obviously you're looking at Dan, uh, Leon, um, he had a squad at the beginning of the week and um, all the players are ranked at, at sort of a very similar level. The captain's job is to make a decision. Um, Dan Evans is somebody who has um, performed well in Davis Cup, you know, came up with uh, great victories in the past against players ranked at sort of top 60, top 70, so he has done that played well on a surface which is indoors like this, a little bit quicker, a bit slower, There's slightly more variation in his game and uh, you know it's, a, it's an instinct. I think it's a, a, probably a good decision the captain's made to put Dan in there. And look, he's, he's got his work cut out, it's, it's, a, it's a huge prospect, a very, very tough match playing against Tursunov. But um, Davis Cup is completely unique, it's not like any other week of the year when you're, when you're out playing for yourself as an individual. Uh, players react very differently to, to playing for their country. And, the important thing for, for that Evans is to get into the match at early stages and to really have a go to, to, to use his skills, to use his weapons and try and threaten Tursunov. But the most important thing is to stay with him. And, uh, you know, he is capable of beating good players, no question about it. So uh, it'll be exciting. A quick word as well on that second rubber that we're also featuring uh, James Ward against Evgeny Donskoy. Um, Donskoy played Andy Murray in Indian Wells, played pretty well for yeah. a set or so. Um, what are your thoughts ahead of that one? I mean, that, that really is one that's up for grabs. It's, a, it's an interesting match as well, and I think it's one really um, where um, it's a very open match, it's a very you know, even match. I think James Ward's got a great chance. Because Donskoy's uh, debut in Davis Cup is the first time he will have played, and I think that's one of the things that, where the crowd comes into play. Certainly, uh, the British team will be aware of it and, and try and keep Donskoy on. Certainly, Look, I mean, he's, he's ranked eight in the world, he's done very well, as you say, he pushed um, you know, recently in, in Indian Wells and he's a good player, but um, James Ward also is a very good player and they have similar game styles and it's going to be about who can perform on this surface in, in, you know, in the moment at a particular time and certainly you have to play on that experience, I think, and, and that is a, a key match for, for the tie and, and Great Britain and, you know, really looking to get one of the wins out of these two singles today, which it gives them some momentum because you're going into the doubles, they are, you'd have to say, certainly the favourites and that really does sort of change the whole perspective of what this match looks like. So, exciting days, uh, tennis ahead. Absolutely, a reminder of course you can uh, join Jeremy and uh, myself uh, from 2 o'clock local time, that's 1 o'clock uh, GMT on the LTA website. The whole tie, the whole three days being streamed live and exclusive on lta.org.uk. Do join us there.